Bridget Akrut grew up with her grandmother in the deeper recesses of Ojukai village, Ngora district, who struggled to pay her tuition. After the death of her father, Akrut, alongside her siblings, were under the care of their grandmother. Personally, I cried my tears down every, every hour, every day I get to bed. I cry out to God and ask God that, Lord, do you know what I am up to? Please help me through. After senior six, her chances to join university began to fade away. But through a flicker of hope, Akrut applied for a scholarship for the Forum for African Women Educationalist Program. It has given me hope for a brighter future. Though this hope at one point seemed, seemed lost. With the help of the scholarship organization, Bridget is now in her second year at Makere University, where she's pursuing a bachelor's degree in ethics and human rights. Bridget is among the lucky 8,000 vulnerable girls who have benefited from FAWE. The organization was started in 1997 in Uganda and has since then grown by leaps and bounds. We have verification forms that, that give us the information that we require and from that information we are able to determine whether the student is actually need, is, is, is needy and disadvantaged or not. And the, the, the need and disadvantage um, covers several aspects. They could be child-headed homes, uh, they could be homes that are affected or infected by HIV and AIDS. They could be war-ravaged areas. FAWE will on March 28th organize a fundraising dinner to raise funds to help the girl child attain university education. Irene Namialo, NTV.